up? I'm Chat. And I'm Star. And, and we're, we're the Wing, Wing Girls. Girls. And today we're going to tell you where, where to, to meet, meet girls. girls. Okay, so there's like some super top secret places where girls are just like pouring out of the woodwork and nobody is acting on it. Like, where are all the guys? I don't think things pour out of woodwork. <laughs> they don't. They're just coming out in floods. They're coming out of the woodwork, not it's pouring out of the woodwork. <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> all right, so if you've watched our other videos, you know what to do when you meet a girl, but you might not know where the girls are. So we're gonna tell you. Classes, okay? This is huge. If you meet a girl in class, you have something you can already talk about. I mean, we always say this, but it works. Like if you have art class together, then you two are both sitting in art class and you have stuff to talk about. A big thing would be to get a class that most women take. Yeah, that's important. Dance. Like knitting. Yeah, dance knitting. is good. <laughs> yeah, like You're gonna get sewing. laid by a bunch of 80 year old women. <laughs> Cultural events are like, great places to meet people because everybody's there like having fun and it's some kind of like niche thing, you know, like Irish beer tasting or like Greek cheese festival or Chinese fan dancing, okay, you wait. know? Greek cheese festival? <laughs> yeah, Greek. Yeah, they have those like every month. You can taste Greek cheeses. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Anyways, look up one that actually exists. <laughs> Don't look up whatever she just said. I think Chinese fan dancing is That's real. not an event. <laughs> it's definitely. There's booths of all different kinds of fans. There's <laughs> all different kinds of dances. <laughs> this is a band. It more be like a Chinese <laughs> festival of the arts or something like that. Okay, but they do have fan dancing because yeah. I've seen it. The next thing is clothing store. And you want to go somewhere that has boys and girls clothing. So you're not like, would this dress look good on me? <laughs> you know, unless you want to trip her up. But, you That's know. one way yeah. to meet them. Don't go shopping for your girlfriend that doesn't exist or whatever. Yeah, you know, no. that doesn't work. Go to a place that has both. Uh, like Forever 21 has like a minuscule man section. <laughs> it's like yeah. this big, but it <laughs> but still counts. it's swarming with women. Yes, it is. There's so, so many women. Yeah, and you can go up and ask the girl, like, does this look good? Like, I don't know. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't know what to wear, you know, and that's that's There are so many girls girls love it when you ask for yeah. fashion advice So they will talk to you no matter what don't ask the clerk necessarily no. ask some other chick who's like Walking around yeah, who's shopping there like yeah. it and even if you go in the dressing room and try it on like that's fine You know, yeah. even though it's probably segregated, but you can walk around this door wearing it Segregated <laughs> Yes. Are there different water fountains? <laughs> for men and women. Yeah, inside Forever 21. <laughs> Forever 21 they need is to, like an old plantation. <laughs> they need to integrate Forever 21. <laughs> yoga studios are a great place to meet women. Um, there are so many women that take yoga. Like, there's always like two men and then just women everywhere. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> and they're all really nice because they're like totally zenned out and peaceful. So if yeah. you go up and talk to one, they'll be like, hi. Hey, want to show me downward facing dog later? Sure. <laughs> Next thing is a coffee shop. There's tons of people there that just hang out all day long, hanging out at the coffee shop, waiting for someone to talk to them. <laughs> that is true, okay? But if a girl has her headphones on or is like madly typing away or talking on herself, like don't go up to her, hey, excuse me, I think you're really attractive. Like, you buddy working on a screenplay. <laughs> I've got my next millions to yeah, do right here. Seriously. So excuse me. She's just using the free Wi-Fi. She doesn't want to be there to get yeah. on. Yeah. Don't go for people that are using the, the coffee place as their office because they yeah. got work to do. Like look for the one, <laughs> you know, reading the book or flipping through a magazine or just drinking coffee yeah. and looking at the sun. She wants to be hit on. She yeah, deserves she's it. She's there to get like hit on. So do it. <laughs> the next thing is fairs or festivals, something that you go and do with other people who have the same mentality that you do. If you're going to like Comic-Con or you're going to, you know, uh, Star Trek conventions, sorry to <laughs> label all like of you watching us. <laughs> um, we like nerds though. <laughs> or like country music festivals, yeah. like if you like girls that wear cowboy boots, you know, go pick some up there. Yeah, go to some place where you already have something major in common. Good morrow, fair maiden. Good morrow, kind sir. Would you like to join me for some chicken legs? <gasps> My heart has doth skipped a beat. Of course. <laughs> Huzzah! Huzzah! 
grocery stores or farmers markets are really great because it gives you something to talk about. Again, like you can, you know, push your cart through the aisle and then you like bump into a girl and you can be like, hey, um, do you know which apples are good for baking pies? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but don't say like, don't go up to her and say something general like, is food good? <laughs> like <you> an alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say some general alien remark. <laughs> Ask something specific. Yeah, like something the, the specific. baking pie thing was pretty legit. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I really want to yeah. know. Comment below if you know what apples are the best <laughs> for baking pies. Another great place to meet women are like churches and temples and other you know, God places. <laughs> Those are great because there's a community that yeah. comes every week. So then you can like get in on that and people will introduce you to other people. And then also the older members of that community are so, always super into yeah. like setting up they the They love marriage. Ones. Oh my God, they love matchmaking. Yeah. So you can just be like, hey, Sister Susan, got any single girls here? <laughs> no, don't ask the nun. <laughs> she doesn't know. What? She's she, married to God. Yeah, but she can still hook a brother up. Oh, because she's a sister. She's a sister. No, but seriously, it is a great place. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's really great. Hey, what's your favorite proverb? It's 423, guard your heart. Oh, you don't need that one anymore. <laughs> we can talk it over later in Bible, Bible study. study. Next, a hair salon, okay? Hair salon is Awesome. Amazing. Okay? You don't want to go to the barber shop or anything like that. What? To be around a bunch of peen? <laughs> Why do you want that? You can do that all day, every day. Yeah. Go, go to a hair salon where there's a ton of chicks. You can talk to the chicks there. You can talk to the women doing your hair. They love to hook people up. And you don't That's have to do hit on day. them. Like the biggest way to hit on someone is actually to ask them about their friends because then she knows you're single, whatever, but then she can also hook you up and it doesn't have to be awkward. That's it's, true. She has to do the work. You're essentially asking for someone to pimp you out. And they meet people all day. Yeah. So like all they're thinking about is like who they could match up. It's basically like matchmaking, but you're yeah. paying for, you get your hair done. Another one, bars. Okay, we know it's not like super top secret, like of course bars are a place to meet women, but they really are a place to meet people. Like people go to bars and women are people, so there you go. Yeah. And if you wanna meet someone at a bar, the best place is actually to sit at the bar where people go to order drinks, so then you can talk to the girl as she's waiting for a drink to come, and you can like strike up a conversation and charm her with your magic. Yeah, but stay away from like Susie Plastered. Okay, yeah. like, I'm blacked out right now. <laughs> like, you know, like, you don't need a rape charge on your hands. <laughs> yeah, that's okay? not the way you Stay want to Stay away from that crazy hoe. Run, run yeah. far away. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, guys, so now you know where to get the girls. All you got to do is just go there and get some, okay? <laughs> and if you need to know how to get her number, click right here. Boop, boop, boop. Comment below. Where else is a good place? And where do you have the most luck?